Their most dangerous and astonishing missions took place in the jungles of Southeast Asia. Known as quiet professionals and warrior diplomats, they ventured deep into the heart of the Vietnam War. They are the Green Berets, the men of the United States Army Special Forces. For three decades, their operations have remained secret. Only now are their stories being declassified. At last, they can be told. In the words of the men who kept the secrets, this is the story of the Green Berets. You know, you're looking out there and you're trying to look down and uh, trying to see anything that moves. You got a hundred pounds of crap on your back. You tumble out into uh, the elephant grass, you don't know if it's six feet tall or ten feet tall, and then you run like crazy. Once you get off, you can no longer have the option of staying aboard, hollering, and pulling out. But on the other hand, this noisy contraption that was telling the whole world, here we come, that's gone. It's quiet again. Your feet are on the ground. You're not dependent on a pilot or door gunners. You're in control again. And you'd relax. And that great fear was gone. You were pretty much on your own. Just you and your guys. So your training had better been, you know, your training and your luck and your karma all had better been working for you that day. The Green Beret recon teams were left to fend for themselves deep inside hostile territory. To complete their mission, these soldiers would play a most dangerous game of hide and seek with their very lives in the balance. They were trying to drive us to uh, some sort of uh, place where we couldn't get out. You knew what was waiting for you if you were driven to that place. So a lot of our time, once we were compromised, was spent backtracking, trying to destroy our, our trail, our spore. You know, just uh, evade. 